My name is Paul. I'm a consultant psychiatrist in an inpatient unit. The community treatment order is a part of the Mental Health Act. It was introduced to enable uh, certain patients who are detained under the longest sections of the Mental Health Act to be discharged sooner than perhaps they otherwise would be and to help them maintain stability in the community and to prevent relapse. It gives the backup of uh, an option for early recall to, to treatment, uh, which can promote early recovery and shorter periods in hospital. Some patients with mental disorders have illnesses which are characterised by frequent relapse and uh, frequent readmission into hospital. A community treatment order can help uh, patients with such illnesses to remain well and to stay in the community. Community treatment order can be applied to a patient who is currently detained under Section 3 of the Mental Health Act or Section 37 and some similar longer sections of the Mental Health Act. It's used for certain patients who are detained under Section 3 of the Mental Health Act and who have a history of disengaging from services uh, and leading to readmission to hospital. So it can help those patients um, remain well and stable in the community. In the first instance, the community treatment order can last for up to six months. Uh, it, it can be discharged by the re responsible clinician sooner than that if it's no longer needed and if a longer community treatment order is required it can be renewed at the end of the six months. There are two conditions which apply to all community treatment orders. The first one is that the patient must make themselves available to their responsible clinician the patient must also make themselves available to a second opinion approved doctor who is a doctor uh, appointed by the Care Quality Commission to review the treatment plan. In addition, the responsible clinician with the agreement of an approved mental health professional can add in other necessary conditions such as a requirement for the patient to take medication or to live in a particular place. If someone's health deteriorates while they're subject to a community treatment order, they can be offered the usual treatment that would be offered to them if they weren't on such an order. In addition to that, there is the option for the treating team to recall the patient to hospital to continue the treatment there if recall is, is assessed as being necessary at the time. The recall will last for up to 72 hours. During that period of time, the patient will be assessed by the responsible clinician and uh, if necessary, the community treatment order uh, will be revoked and the patient will then be subject to a Section 3 of the Mental Health Act. I can give a, an example of a patient who was subject to a community treatment order the patient was a middle-aged man with a history of schizophrenia. He never really developed full insight into his condition and would frequently discontinue his medication. He would then relapse and require admission to hospital under, under the Mental Health Act. With a community treatment order, we, we were able to put in certain conditions, for example, that he should take his medication and live in supported accommodation. This seemed to be successful and so far has prevented his readmission back into hospital.